Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Bruce Begans, President of the Textile Museum Board of Trustees. Dr. Ford Bell, President of the American Association of Museums. And the President of the George Washington University, Dr. Stephen Knapp. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, and thank you for joining us for an exciting announcement. Before I proceed to the announcement itself, I'd like to recognize some of the key constituents uh, who are with us this afternoon. Trustees, faculty, students, and staff at the George Washington University, trustees, staff, and supporters of the Textile Museum, and I noticed as I walked in here, we have a number of neighbors from our Foggy Bottom neighborhood right here with us uh, this afternoon, so welcome to all of you. Today, I'm delighted to announce a new partnership that will bring the world-renowned Textile Museum and its collections to George Washington's Foggy Bottom campus. These collections will become a cornerstone of a new George Washington University Museum, soon to be constructed and scheduled to open in 2014. This collaboration between our two institutions will create extraordinary opportunities for students, faculty, and scholars, as well as for the general public. It will allow George Washington scholars to integrate these spectacular collections into a wide range of academic studies, including history, art history, anthropology, museum studies, and the study of the various regions from which the Textile Museum's extraordinary artifacts have originated. When it opens a few years from now, the George Washington University Museum will also feature the Albert H. Small Washingtoniana Collection and the Center for National Capital Area Studies. In February, I was honored to announce Mr. Small's generous gift of his unparalleled collection of materials documenting the history and development of Washington, D.C. Mr. Small is here with us today, and I'd like to ask that he stand and be recognized. Albert. <laughs> In addition to the museum itself, the university will construct a new facility dedicated to the study and care of the museum's historic collections. This state-of-the-art conservation and resource center will be located on our Virginia Science and Technology campus in Ashburn, Virginia. At the as the largest university in the nation's capital, George Washington enjoys partnerships with a wide range of cultural institutions, including the Smithsonian Institution, the Phillips Collection, the Folger Shakespeare Library, and the Shakespeare Theater Company, in addition to our own collections at the Gelman Library and the Brady and Dimmick Art Galleries. Our new affiliation with the Textile Museum and the construction of the George Washington University Museum reaffirm the university's role as a vibrant center for cultural and artistic discovery and discourse. The Textile Museum is, in fact, one of the world's foremost specialized museums. Every year, visitors come from around the world to view the magnificent collections it has amassed since its founding in 1925. Its educational programs, including both formal lectures and intimate workshops, allow visitors to experience the variety and wonder of the textile arts, some of which you've been seeing displayed before this presentation. We at George Washington are honored and frankly thrilled that this unique cultural and scholarly resource will now grace and enrich our campus, and it's now my very great pleasure to introduce a wonderful partner and friend, the president of the Textile Museum's Board of Trustees, Dr. Bruce Begantz. Thank you, President Knapp. The Textile Museum is thrilled to be joining forces with the George Washington University and for the opportunity to play a key role in the establishment of George Washington University's new museum. For those of you who don't know us well, the Textile Museum 
is uniquely situated to integrate its activities with academic disciplines. We are an institution with a history based on achievements in art, scholarship, publication, education, and the promotion of cultural understanding through the museum's deep international connections. George Washington University and the Textile Museum each enter into this relationship in strength. The Textile Museum's programs are robust and through endowment and the generosity of its supporters, the Textile Museum operates with a balanced financial budget. The Textile Museum's acclaimed collection contains over 18,000 pieces ranging in age from 3,000 years before current era to the 20th century. Its holdings are recognized as being among the world's top collection of rugs and handmade textiles from around the world with an emphasis on the Near East, Central Asia, East and Southeast Asia, Africa, and the indigenous cultures of the Americas. Included in the collection are extraordinary treasures from the Islamic world and pre-Columbian textiles. The Textile Museum's 20,000 volume Jenkins Library is among the world's foremost libraries on textiles. The roots of the collection date to the 1890s with museum founder George Hewitt Myers, a visionary and connoisseur who eventually incorporated the museum in 1925. The museum's audience is local, national, and international with members in all 50 states and over 55 countries. Textile museum exhibitions, publications, and conferences have played a vital role in establishing standards of artistic merit and cultural importance of the world's textiles. Textile museum organized exhibitions have traveled to major art museums around the country. These include the upcoming venues for the Textile Museum's Colors of the Oasis, Central Asian ECOTS, which will travel to the Seattle Art Museum in 2012, and to the Museum of Fine Arts, Houston, in 2014. Additionally, the Textile Museum routinely loans pieces from its collection to leading museums around the world. At present, the Textile Museum has three stellar Western Hemisphere pieces on exhibit at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in the Andean Tunics exhibition. Although today we celebrate the announcement of new museum facilities, success will ultimately be built around the richness of our collective programs. We eagerly anticipate collaborative opportunities across widespread disciplines with students, faculty, researchers, connoisseurs, and the public as we integrate the Textile Museum with the George Washington University academic community. With this, the future is limited only by our imaginations. Today, to share his perspective on this unique affiliation, we are honored to have with us Ford W. Bell, leader of the largest museum organization in the world. Dr. Bell has been president of the American Association of Museums since 2007, and he brings more than 30 years of experience as a nonprofit executive, 
board chair, donor, trustee, and educator to the position. The American Association of Museums serves the museum field by promoting standards and best practices, gathering and sharing knowledge, and providing advocacy on issues of concern to the museum community. Dr. Bell. These things always look so low to me. <laughs> thank you, Bruce, and thank you to the board and staff of the Textile Museum and to President Knapp and his team at George Washington University for inviting me to be part of this important announcement today. On behalf of the 3,000 institutions and more than 18,000 individual members of the American Association of Museums, let me reiterate what you have already heard today, that this is a truly unique partnership in the museum world, one that joins two pillars of Washington's cultural and educational life. This agreement will result in shared resources, knowledge, and wisdom, while still enabling the Textile Museum to retain and enhance its well-earned reputation. And that commitment, that commitment was the foundation for this partnership, joining these two revered institutions with important educational missions. The George Washington University is one of the world's premier institutions for higher education. And the Textile Museum, with its outstanding collection and its long-standing commitment to education, is a leader in its own realm. Yet another reason that this partnership cannot help but succeed is that museums have long been a vital part of a well-rounded college education. This new home for the Textile Museum in the heart of the GW campus will only heighten the already rich cultural experience that GW students enjoy. And with the museum's new home so accessible to GW University's thousands of many neighbors and hundreds of thousands of visitors who come to our city every year, the reach and impact of the Textile Museum will grow as ever more people are introduced to its one-of-a-kind collections, its scholarship, and the power of its presentations. To have a long-established museum become part of a world-renowned, world-class university is truly unique and in keeping with the singular nature of the textile museum itself. This partnership will undoubtedly enrich us all. I want to offer congratulations to President Knapp and the George Washington University, to Mary Claire Ramsey and the Textile Museum on this important partnership which will benefit us all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. McGannis, Dr. Bell, for those very eloquent words. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard the good news, and now it's time to celebrate. We have a reception directly upstairs in the second floor. And I invite you all to, uh, I will see you up there. Thank you. Thanks very much.